At long last, we're returning to an old show of ours, but in a brand new way. Movie Recipes is back, and this time it's f***ing delicious. I couldn't stomach any more of that crap I was making at home. So we asked a few celebrity chefs to see if they could do better. And holy sh was that the right decision. In the new series, you'll see Chris and I discussing movies while talented chefs prepare meals inspired by them. On the Community Table channel, you can learn more about the dishes and the chefs who created them, so make sure you check that out. And now, without further ado... Sometimes watching a movie isn't enough. You also want to eat that movie. That's why there's movie recipes. To me? To you! Today, we're with Chef Dale Levitsky at Cinema in Nashville, Tennessee. I was always a Disney fan growing up. For me, doing these dishes was, was very easy and a lot of fun. You know, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can, you can take these and, and, and within being food inspired. So it's, I could probably make five or six different dishes for each movie just because it's, you know, it's, there's a lot of a material there. We have challenged him with making a dish suitable for a mad tea party. Chef Levitsky has chosen a list of essential ingredients to do just that. They are rabbit. That's what he gets for being late. Thyme, if only the white rabbit had more of it. And squash, to represent the squashed hopes and dreams of Mr. Rabbit. Because, you know, he's dead now. Let's get cooking! I haven't seen Alice in Wonderland in a long time because this is, for me, this was that movie that I saw about two years too young, and it scared the bejesus out of me. Is that what scared you back in the day, was the Cheshire Cat? He is like, his grin just shows up in the middle of, with no body and yeah, everything. Yeah, it's just creepy. Definitely crossing my fingers, he's not gonna serve his cat. Isn't the book supposed to be a lot more dark, like a lot more mature version of the story and Disney sort of friendly it up for I families? I don't know. I read it, I read it uh, uh, actually fairly recently, but I don't remember there being anything. You read Alice in Wonderland recently? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did not know that I about did. you. I did, I did. Okay. Um, but, um... Falls into the thing. Yeah. Goes into the place. <laughs> goes into the place. Um, and then everything is weird because she, it's yeah. Lewis Carroll land and, you know. How many shrooms did that guy do? Probably all of them. Mm. The cat takes his head off? Well, no wonder the movie f***ed me up. As okay, a see if this is on YouTube. We can we can edit it out and post. That's right. Edit and post. <laughs> really? And the slithy toves that did the guy ran the gimbal in the way. Yeah, that guy would have freaked me out if I was like a five-year-old. I think what he's going to do is make us a tea and blood cake. Animal-wise, I think it's going to be human, cat, or rabbit. <laughs> human, cat, or rabbit. Yeah, I'm narrowed it down to those three. Yeah? I haven't had human since I was like four. I haven't had human since I saw Alive and just wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Right, right. <laughs> Gentlemen, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that tastiness. Get the f out of here. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh man. All right. What okay. do we got? This this is Alice in Wonderland, so it's down the rabbit hole. Okay. Ah. So there is white rice with a, a chamomile tea poached rabbit loin. So with the tea party, um, he wasn't on time, so I poached the rabbit. <laughs> um, <laughs> we also have some um, some blackberries, some homemade um, creme fraiche, and some mustard. Um, just a lot of little things you'd find you'd find in the garden with with uh, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, awesome, man! All right. Um, also, also microgreens, so they're, they're, they get about that big. <laughs> microgreens. Right. That is that what that is? That's um. That's actually time. Oh, all right. All right. So he, he, he was late for his very important day. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Boom. Everything on this plate. Yeah. Connects. I've never had rabbit. I'm not sure why. What's the color here in this sauce? That's uh, blackberry puree. Oh. Like, I think I can make a decent home meal, but I just, my brain would never put all this stuff together. How many plates did you smear before you got the three, you know, two you wanted? Those two. <laughs> You're probably pretty good at smearing. Kyle, right Kyle did it, my, our, our, my assistant Kyle, he, uh, he he's, he's a master smear, so he did those. 
<laughs> Good smearing, Kyle. <laughs> Front to back. Excellent smearing. Thanks for watching today's episode. We have two more videos with Dale coming soon, and more episodes planned with other chefs after that. Make sure you leave a comment about what movies and ingredients we should use in the future. And if you want to learn more about the chefs and the dishes they created for us, click over to the Community Table channel and subscribe.